Listen to the Vibes. Welcome, everyone, to another episode of Listen to the Vibes, and I'm very privileged to have Mr. Bo Roberts here with me today. You might recognize him from a little movie called 300, Rise of an Empire. He's also a director, making some pretty cool movies, and uh, we're going to get to know him, have a great conversation. So, Bo, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, first off, Kyle, uh, thanks for having me on. Um, yeah, I mentioned in that little pre-meeting we had, but it's it, it's one thing for somebody to make an indie project. It's something something else to actually, you know, have a completed project, but to actually get it out to the world, have them see it. Um, that's a whole new ball game. So, you know, thank you to you for, you know, being willing to uh, review and to talk about it. But yeah, so the movie, it's called The Great Awakening, and I shot it last year, and it just came out on a Tubi, um, I think last month. We were talking beforehand about how it seems like the sentiment is, is people are falling out of love with Hollywood. Um, it's not really entertaining anymore. It's more, I don't know, I, I don't want to get political here, but it just seems like there's a, some kind of an agenda behind it. And it's not for entertaining anymore. And then the formulas that they do, it just, it's just a lot of it's the same old, same old, with just different characters. Definitely. And yeah, on, on making this movie, mm -hmm. you know, I, I'm expecting it as I scale up and have, you know, maybe I do shake hands with a studio or just uh, various investors come along. And, mm -hmm. you know, I, I've seen it because uh, I, I, cut my teeth in filmmaking by being by being the pa the transport captain uh, uh, U, uh the upm or the uh, production manager um I, i've done uh, like second ad uh, i've done a lot of various stuff and i keep seeing how when you have too many hands in the pot how things begin to go kind of awry mm -hmm. uh, you know kind of too many cooks in the kitchen so for me that's something I acknowledge now. So as I do scale up, that's when I have to be choosy on, okay, th this is exactly the, the way I want to explain the story. They want to do this with it. How can we compromise? How, how can I be happy to make that movie happen in this way and yet have these people, you know, satisfied as well. So that's, yeah, uh, definitely having that freedom as an indie filmmaker. It's, it's amazing, but um, yeah, I, I definitely like that scale up production going from shooting a, a, a three week feature film with me and one other crew member. I, I would like to have, you know, a, a couple, a, a couple other people, you know, kind of on set with me. Is it difficult to like be yourself when you try to get into this business? Do you feel like sometimes you have to be someone that you're not? Um, Yes and no. Like it's a, it's something to where like you have to get used to reading the room and you know, it's like, especially in today's, you know, cancel culture, if you, you know, heaven forbid, if you have a, an opposing opinion to somebody. Uh -huh. um, so, so for me, like a lot of it is, yeah, I just don't really voice my opinion on most things because, you know, it's like, yeah, you'll have a couple of people nodding their head, but you'll have that one person in the corner that's just you know gonna blackball you <laughs> however so yeah it's very much walking a, a tightrope to where it, it goes back to retaining that creative freedom that we talked about except you know instead of it being investors and studio now it's that people buying tickets and you know what are they going to tolerate and what are they not and mm -hmm. for me that that's why like my favorite genre of a movie is is a it's a horror movie and that's you know, right now that's where I'm having the most fun uh, creatively. So that's the best space I'm operating in. And more times than not, a horror movie, you know, it's meant to be a little subversive. And there's tons of symbolism in horror movies to where, like, a monster, it, it can be, um, you know, very just on paper, this is what it is. Or the monster can represent something to where, uh, this movie I've seen on Netflix is called His House. And it's very much a movie that you watch it and has kind of a haunted house feeling that happens. But then there's this reveal 
that explains why everything is truly happening. And to me, it's like to show that symbolism. So in that sense, um, if you're making a horror movie, you can kind of play around and kind of stretch being a little non-PC in certain areas. Um, whereas, you know, if, if you're doing a comedy movie and say something off color, then, you know, it's, it's hard to come back from. Well, once again, thank you for your time, man. And uh, all of you out there, if you are new to the channel, I appreciate you stopping by. Please subscribe and please come back. And for those of you who are regular to the channel, thank you for your support. It's because of you I get to do this. I get people like Bo on my show. And uh, I don't know what else to say, but thank you so, so, so much. And so until the next one, everyone, please take care. Be kind to one another. God bless and peace. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Listen to the Vibes. You can catch us on Buzzsprout or wherever you listen to your favorite podcasts. And on YouTube. Follow us on Facebook at The Vibes Broadcast Network.